hi loves welcome back to my channel if this is your first time stopping by hi my name is abby sodo and you are welcome to my channel meals with abby so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys as you can tell from the title of the video i'll be showing you my pots collection now i do not have so many pots or i don't think i have so many pots some people might beg to differ the types of pots i have what i use them for the prices if i can remember and yeah so that's what this video is going to be about if this is something that you are interested in then please keep on watching and by the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please hit the subscribe button down below also turn on your notification bells so that you get notified whenever i post new videos trust me if you haven't subscribed or if you're new here you're definitely going to love this channel so do also hit the subscribe button now let's get straight into showing you guys my pot collection in no particular order i'm going to be starting with this purple cast iron pot this is a 24 centimeter pot and it is from Le Creuset. It's a cast iron pot and I love this pot. It has a depth, it's also wide. So it kind of looks like a wok, but it's not exactly a wok. I use this for my stir fries, I use this for sauces, I use this for stew, I use it for rice. You can use this pot for basically anything. And I love that it's a portable size not too big and it's very very functional for me i've had this for about three years now and this is what it looks like let me tell you guys one of the parts of this pot is this stain that you can see inside i try as much as possible to um take care of this pot so that the inside doesn't stain if you have one that has a white you know coating it might be a bit difficult but proper maintenance your pot is going to last you and this pot can last you for years. I think this cost about 25,000 Naira when I got it. The next pot I'll be showing you guys is this yellow pot. I really, really love this pot. I love it because it has this um, kind of stony particle details on the outside. This is what the inside looks like. And this is a 20 centimeter pot. It's, it's a deep pot, so it's great for your rice, for porridge, for beans, for stew. You know, it's not very wide, but it has depth. It's just a very pretty color, and I've had this for a while. The next pot I'll be showing you guys is this 26 centimeter non stick pot. Now, this is a very basic pot, it's not so pretty. But this is very very functional has a very very good nasty coating it has a glass lid it has um a hole here so you know you can put your hand your hands your your fingers in here to lift it i actually use this pot a lot i use it for my rice if i want to make a large um quantity of stew and to make soups basically anything i think i got this for less than thirty thousand. i can't remember the exact price next pot i'll be showing you guys but also a 26 centimeter am i correct this is 26 or 24 you guys i do not know but this is the pot it's a yellow bright color pot now this pot i did not buy it i won it <laughs> online there was um, a giveaway going on and you know i answered and i got to win this pot is actually a set of three it has a saucepan it has a frying pan and then this one the saucepan is a mess already but this one is still living it's not the neatest right now but it's a very pretty pot i love the color it has a glass lid and then i love this thing it's sort of a spoon rest i actually rest my spoon on it when i'm cooking and this is what it looks like it has a white interior if i didn't mention it has a white interior so pretty i love using this when i'm making very colorful meal it pops in my videos a lot the next pot i'll be showing you guys is right here turkish pot it has a black interior um this is 20 20 centimeter or 18 this is 24 this is um this has depth and the third one is also 24 but it is wider than this one this is 24 24 but this is wider this one has more depth than this one and 
for some reason I don't use this pot very often because I do not like the coating it's not um, very non-stick so if you're making basic things like even when I'm boiling rice and like white rice it actually sticks to the pot and I don't really like to use it that's one of the reasons second reason is because it is quite big small family we are just two so this is a very big pot to cook with very often and even when I'm food blogging I don't make meals that you know are this much so for this one I like to use it for my soups for stew I tried to use it for fried rice before and you know it burns it's not stick it's not meant to burn like that but the nasty coating of this is not the best but it is a good pot do you get what i mean it also has a frying pan that's also 24 centimeter i can use this to cover it and it works i use this frying pan also but like i said i'm not a huge fan of the coating so i don't get to use it that much the set of this was 70,000 naira so the next pot I'm going to be showing you guys is this heavy cast iron pot and it's from Radiance Cookware. It has a black cast iron coating. This is oh heavy you guys. It's a cream color. It's from Radiance Cookware. If you don't know Radiance, Radiance is a Nigerian brand that produces amazing cast iron pots it is quite high maintenance and this pot you can pass it on to your children and your grandchildren <laughs> now this is another heavy pot it's of course it has to be cast iron for it to be this heavy and it is this tramotina <laughs> oh my god this is a tramotina cast iron pot you guys this lid alone is heavy this lid oh my god so it has this cream color coating on the inside i'm guessing this is maybe 28 centimeter or 26 centimeter i'm guessing this is 26 or 28 it is a saute pan that's why it's wide you can use it to saute your dishes oh my god <laughs> this pot is heavy you guys that pot was making me sweat oh my goodness so the next part I'll be showing you guys is this stone um, Brabotina saute pan. This is also 26 centimeter. It's a saute pan. It's really wide and has um, this stone texture. This is really beautiful. I use this quite often. Yes, I use this quite often. It's an induction pot and it's really good. I got this for I think 32,000 naira. This is a really nice pot. I, you guys, for some reason, I have a lot of saute pans and I think I need more small pots. I need more small pots, but I, this is another saute pan, you guys. This is from George Holmes or Ashta from the UK. And when I saw this pot, I fell in love with, with it immediately. First off, because of this, it has this bamboo hand. It has it also has this it's also bamboo so it's like you can easily lift this then it has um this stone it has this granite texture on the inside can you see that's really really nice and it's so pretty i don't use this very often but i love this i cherish this pot um it was quite pricey i think i got it for about 35k but i love this pot it's just so pretty and beautiful it's um great for stir fries you can use this for your rice also if you're making like fried rice coconut rice it is really non-stick this pot is a good one i don't know why i have a lot of saute pans over this is another saute pan and i have had this for five years now i've had this pot it's from turkey and it has this glass lid i think this is 24 centimeter it also has this um, granite texture and this is a, just a really pretty pot I don't use it very often anymore but I used to use it a lot before I used to use it a lot it's really non-stick it has stood by me through thick and thin and yeah the next part I'm going to be showing you guys is this stainless steel wok 
this is a stainless steel work. I don't know where the lid is right now, but it's I think this is 24 centimeter if I'm right. No guys, this has to be 26 centimeter. This is 26. Yeah. So this is 26 centimeter. This was thrifted, I think maybe seven, eight thousand naira. But I'll leave the link in the cards to show you guys where I thrifted this. I got this also thrifted and I just loved it. It has this weird shape. Can you guys see? It has this weird look, but it kind of looks like um, something those Chinese people will use for their stir fries. I use this quite often, but it's not very non-stick. So whatever you're making, it actually sticks to the pot, except you oil it you know, quite often. If you oil it a lot, you might not have an issue, but if you don't oil it a lot, it will stick and it will burn. So that's the perk. Um, that's one of the cons about this pot. You have to use a lot of oil and maybe butter to oil it around. And but this is great. It makes the frying awesome. You know, it's really wide, not too deep. So you're really stir frying and you're going. It's just so good. And this one doesn't select um, the utensils to use with it. You can use your steel iron, you can use silicone, you can use wooden, anything, it does not scratch. This is another wok. This is um, from Elementi Natura. It's a 24 centimeter non-stick wok. It has this granite texture or granite look. The texture is not very stony. And you guys can already tell that <laughs> I have a thing for granite uh, pots and you know, they just look really pretty. I love this wok it's amazing perfect for my family size i can make a stir fry rice in this for us and we are good it's just the perfect size i love this i got this for 26,000 or 24 between 24 and 26 because i know i thought it was cheaper than that and i was arguing with the seller but then it turned out to be that price so this is what it looks like it has this handle easy for grasping and it is so good next pot i'll be showing you guys this is my favorite pot right now which is really weird of all the pots that i have why is this my favorite pot you guys this is a 22 um centimeter saute pan i think it doesn't have a lid because i got this thrifted and i got this for just two thousand naira but i love this i think i love it because it's just perfect for my family size whenever i'm making something here it's just you know it's not too big it's not too small the non-stick is amazing i can i, I use this for my stew i use it for rice stir fry rice i use it for sauces for soups you know you can i've been using this pot a lot since i bought it and it didn't come with a lid it's really um lightweight but the texture is so good it has this very awesome coating and it's just weird the other one the pots this one that i bought cheap is like one of my favorites right now this pot i love i got it from alaba market it wasn't filmed because i just stumbled upon it in one of my visits i have this pot i got from my mom my mom's store actually it's an aluminium pot can you hear it's a picasso pot and i just got it because i feel like you know what you want to make jollof rice you need this kind of pot so that it burns and you get that taste so yeah this pot is aluminium i have another aluminium pot i don't know where i kept it if i find it i'll, I'll show you in this video it's just a deeper pot that i use for my jollof rice all the time because it gives that smoky effect so this one this is it i think this is 20 centimeter the inside is not looking the best but yeah it does the job and i like it now this is a wok this is a 30 centimeter wok it is big and wide and you guys know woks are great for stir fries um so i use this for my stir fries fried rice anything i want to stir fry basically i use this pot sometimes i use it to fry maybe i want to fry something deep i use this to fry also i've had this for a long time but the moment i got that smaller wok I forgot about this one <laughs> i just dumped it somewhere so this is um pot i don't remember how much i got this one this steel saucepan 
now you guys this was also thrifted in one of my vlogs and this is great for my porridges it's great for um, making something small noodles rice um, sauces Anything you want to make in small quantity, I use a saucepan for it. Something you want to boil your hot chocolate. And I actually want to get more saucepans. That's really going to be functional. It's not just about buying because, you know, it looks pretty. I want to ensure I buy something that is going to be functional for me. I'm going to be showing you guys the kind of pans I have. And I'm starting with this Radiant um, Bare Cast Iron Skillet. Now this is cast iron. This is bare. It has no coating. The cast iron pot I showed you guys has coating, but this doesn't have any coating. If you can see, it looks, you know, a bit oily. You have to oil this so that it doesn't rust. So this one has a lot of maintenance. This is high maintenance, but it's going to last you for long. I heard this can last you for 50, 100 years. Another granite texture, some, but this is, can you see, it has this granite feel. This frying pan has been through thick and thin with me. I also love that it has this bamboo um, hold, bamboo handle. I think this is 18 centimeter frying pan. I use this for eggs, mostly eggs, plantains once in a while if it's just like small quantity plantain. Yeah, basically that's what I use this for most times and it's really good. This one I'll be showing you guys is this skillet from Radiance also. This is also really heavy. This is cast iron, but it is already coated. It also requires maintenance, but not as much as the bare cast iron. Because of this, um, the lines, is, you can't use this for basic frying. So it's basically, it's actually a grill pan. This is a grill pan. So if you want to grill chicken, you want to grill your steak, and you want it to have those lines, that's when I, that's when I use this one. No? I don't use it very often. It is also really heavy. I think it was 18,000 when I got it. Annoying frying pan. I don't know why I'm showing you guys, but this is one of the frying pans I have. I do not like this pan because of the coating. It sticks quite a lot and it's not nice. I've had this for a long time. I don't know why I haven't disposed of it. The last pan, I think, is this yellow pan. It's well, It came with that yellow pot I told you guys was a set and I won as a giveaway. Has this white interior and yeah. This is what it looks like. All right, guys, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making this video, showing you guys my very little pot collection. I'm looking forward to adding a few sets to my collection, like the caraway set, you guys. I must have that caraway pot. Then um, I'm also looking forward to getting the our place pot and um, frying pan i'm looking i'm dreaming of getting an all clad pot there's this black set that is just luxury it just screams luxury i'm looking forward to getting that anyways i hope you guys enjoyed watching this if there's any of those pots that you have to type let me know and let me know which of them is your favorite which of them do you think you would love to use most and if there's any pot you feel I should add to my collection, let me know in the comment section also. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button, you guys. Like this video. Give that video a thumbs up because you enjoyed watching it. Like this video. Share this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see in my collection or in my kitchen. Drop your suggestions or drop your requests in the comment section and I'll be sure to attend to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.